Jack was a very interesting character in this game. He's only in it for like he's the main focus of your entire gameplay, except you only see him for like five percent of the entire game. I'm not even joking, that's the actual number. Like you see him in Parlor, you see him once more. Then you see him at the end of the game, you see him like three times in person. Makes you scratch your head and think, well, and the only way you have any contacts or learn about this character that you're hunting is through these audio logs you can find. Some of them actually, they make a hell of a lot of sense when you listen to them. Like that one there, you have to break his mind. It's actually applying a bit of game logic there too, if you actually listen to it, since most of those things you do in game are. They revolve around doing those things. Shooting the wounded becomes very... It becomes as normal. It becomes normal in this game. You'll shoot, you'll shoot a guy, you'll wound him, then one of his friends will come pick up his body. And drag him away. And then... Have a look at this idiot. Oh, you shoot him. You wait for his friend to come. Then you kill both of them at the same time instead of one bullet. For two bullets, you've got two guys, except you cause a distraction and pull one closer in into your firing line. So that one guy that you wounded is a beacon and they start carrying him away. You pretty much just aim down the scope and you put a hole straight through both of them. something up, start a fire. They actually do come towards the sound of gunfire, so use your unsilenced weaponry at your own diligence. Got the diamonds though. that easy to escape a ceasefire zone after you've killed like three or four people in one go. Fire's still burning. Don't you love those fire effects? They're pretty damn good for their time if you ask me. This game was made in 08 and it's got some amazingly good fire. This area is under ceasefire, not this far away. I'm I must have killed four off. of them. Fuck up. Ah! Fuck did I do? God damn it, Maybe fire was not such a hot idea. God damn it. You, my girl, are a saint. I, that's never happened before, ever. <laughs> that was cool. Easy, easy. Okay, how about Arnie? I'll cover you while you switch up. Still plenty of hostiles out there. Get your gear straightened out. Oh, Makarov. Hey, check your wounds. Queen. You are a queen amongst women. That sounds weird, I should have said king amongst men. Dang. That's a shame that maybe you lose my cult. That's the first time that's ever happened. I guess it must have been because of that little fire that I had lit there. Down with me anyway. That's the important part. Oh, when 
yes, wounding people does give you more reputation. So you wound, wait for someone to come, or you burn them alive and it gives you more. It's kind of fucked up, but fear is a big tool. I'm sorry, there aren't regular services at the moment. Oh, you're not well. You should see a doctor before you really need a priest. Did Ruben send you? He had something for me. I would be very happy to give you what little medicine I have in exchange. I think you should take one of those right away. Yeah, I agree with you, buddy. Cheers, sir. Those will only last a short while. You should come back when you require more medicine. Those will only last a short while, but I may know where to get more. Not all of my people have left. Many are trapped, scared of what will happen if they are caught trying to leave. And there are others who have chosen to stay. We try to help where we can, and we could use someone like you. Okay, cool. You should Cheers, bro. You require more medicine. Yeah, I know you've told me that twice already. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's go cause more shift and steal the diamonds from the U F L L camp. Oh, we already did, we need to go steal them from the fucking other guys camp. That's right. If I get capped this time I'll be a good the buddy can only rescue like once in a blue moon or something like that. Goes here to keep a tight ship. The APR is actually the government in this game, by the way, if you didn't know. It may seem odd, they look like more of the rebel guerrilla jungle fightery types, but they're the government. Side quests. Ah, oh, swift do assassinations of gun runs. I'll go do it. Get up a few gun convoys, see if we can get some more food boots. Oh, do some assassinations once it gets that spring build on lock. It's like a magic ball. Just drop dead instantaneously, pretty much. Oh, yeah, I've got. There's a gun shop right here. Welcome, friend. Just the sort of businessman I need. I know a man bringing in a shipment of arms over the border north of here. He's the competition. Take out that shipment and I'll have a little something special for you next time you're buying. I love Sounds a businessman legit. with vision. Got to save. If you're wondering why I'm saving prohifically, it's because my game crashed once and I lost about an hour's worth of progress. Let's see, where's the convoy? Yeah, be quick. Take the boat up there. Go for a nice leisurely cruise up the river. Maybe see a hippo. <laughs> Just kidding. There's a. The environment's a little too friendly for being in Africa. There's no snakes, no hippos, no crocodiles, no lions. 
I don't know, but then again, the game was made. <laughs> the game was made in 08. Or was released in 08, I should say. She's an oldie. Assassination missions are probably the next best set of side quests. I only do the buddy missions so they give me uh, upgrades in my fucking safe houses. You know, like medical supplies and gun, gun boxes. All those come stock, you have to buy them first. Shit. Driving with the map up in a boat isn't really good for your health. So we go straight through. Jump on. Yeah. Oh yeah, the quickest way to travel around Africa is by boat. This is going twice as fast as any car would. You can travel twice the distance to, to before you really get attacked by anything. It all depends on your luck, really. Like, you know, you can get... You can run into, like, four enemy boats in a row and end up and have to stand up on the deck and just fire at right them with your AK. Or you could have a complete clear run and get shot up by the guns on the banks. Luck. Big deciding factor. Pretty terrain they did. Certainly was well done, that's for sure. See, there's an outpost back there. There's diamonds up there. It's over there. Not over here. Must be up on top of that rock there. I know, we'll do it on the way back. Shit. Keep your eyes on the river at all times. Here we go. Ow. Crap, crap. Good thing this is an airboat. Oh shit, I think they've dinged up the engine. Need to fix this. them diamonds at. Ah well, we've still past it. Or no, it's just a passage up to the road there. We'll disembark up here on the left. Right here will do nicely. I'm gonna try and sneak through this camp here instead of ruckus. Hopefully. Sure, the dams are towards the middle of the camp up there.
awesome, right? But, uh, by that, that, that's probably a track decision. When in doubt, run away. But it's not cowardice, it's survivalism. Looks like I'm gonna miss him this pass, I'm gonna have to wait for him to come by, then, uh, hit him up. Capture this camp up here though. There must be a third guard. Oh no, he's wounded. Give me a Oh, he's a cute little guy. G3s. Diamonds. Let's just not get stuck behind the house, shall we? Be up above me somehow. I guess, anyway. On top of the roof. Diamonds. Ooh, I've overran time here a bit. Bad me. 